Hello and welcome back to the colony with Man of the Ant. So today we are going to try out the Vertigo 2 demo. Now I don't know anything about Vertigo. I didn't play Vertigo 1. I don't think I've ever heard of Vertigo 1. The only reason I heard of Vertigo 2, well, a few reasons I heard of it. The first thing I saw was a trailer they put up on YouTube and it was like an outtakes of the uh, the voice actors. One of the voice actors that voices, I assume one of the characters in the game, obviously made a few mistakes while they was doing it and had a bit of a laugh and they actually animated. I didn't know if they used like full motion capture to do the, the face so it made it a bit easier but they did like full animation like outtakes for one of the characters um using the the outtakes from the actual voice actor which was brilliant it's a trick i've seen used a few times in various things and it works really well it really does so that was the first thing i saw of it i then had uh indy who you may know from many uh games that i play with him and also from the stream chat as well so recently been playing pulsar lost colony uh indy said that he played it and said that it was really really good and also paradise decay on youtube who's another youtuber who uh Paradise the Case brilliant. You should probably all go and check him out if you haven't already. But he put on Twitter that he played it and was pretty much blown away by it. So I felt like I had to give it a bit of a go. It is just a demo. The full game isn't out until next year. So we do have a bit of a wait to see what happens in the full game. But this is what we've got for now. So we're going to take it. So first impressions. It's awesome. The scale of this weird inside cavern with this huge lake. It's very... like medieval castle behind us these weird little floating guardians that are around and then these weird i, I love this this is is this it's suitably surreal and that's why i really like and then just like two ak-47s just in the corner over there what's going on should i have played vertigo who is that i've just noticed that's weird isn't it that's kind of weird yeah okay yeah, quite excited about this. Really excited to see the full game. I might try and play the actual Vertigo 1 before uh, before the full game's out. But like I say, we've got a while to go yet. So we'll have a quick look at the settings. Shall we? What have we got here? Uh, look, yeah, FOV reduction off. Perfect. Rideable rolly chairs. Not for the faint of heart. Yes, why not? Snap turning is off. That's perfect. We'll leave all those, those settings. Graphics. It's on iGasmic, which I think is a wonderful way of saying it's going to look pretty nice, hopefully. Screen shake. No, it all looks perfect, doesn't it? Let's go back. And let's hit play. Let's hit play. There we go. So we're going to select our stage, but I'm assuming we're just going to start at the beginning, yeah? Yeah, I did I did play the first two minutes of this yesterday when I tried to record until I realized I had no sound. So I had to stop and postpone it until today. So I have seen yeah. pretty much up to this bit, and that's about it, really. Come on. Hey, robot buddy. How you doing? Brian. I'm not called Brian. Maybe what? I'm called Brian. But I think he's Brian. Didn't, pick, didn't, didn't get your name. Leo. Leo. Brian. Hey, buddy. Uh, hello there, buddy. Hello there. Shut up, Leo. Leave us alone. The humans need to talk. Oh, fine. Well then. Welcome, young lady, to Brian Industries headquarters. You may say, okay, I've okay. never heard of Brian Industries. I've never heard of Brian Industries. I won't take offense because Brian Industries is secret, secret, very secret organization. Kind of a terrible name. My work is a little risque for the general public, and I prefer the privacy of obscurity. Are you having memory problems? The nanobot should finish patching up your noggin soon, but in the meantime, would you like me to fill you in on what happened and how you got there? Okay, where to begin? This is a quantum reactor. Basically, a giant machine that exploits instability in space-time to create energy from nothing. Okay, well, from nothing? It yeah. It leeches energy from parallel universes. In one of those strange... Is that good for those other universes? ...where human technological development is centuries behind, and it's taken you until the 20th century to even get to the moon, you were born. That's us. Before, That's me. Hello. ...chasing shiny lights into the woods. 
shining lights were the extraspatial singularities of this quantum reactor mm -hmm, mm -hmm, within mm -hmm. the core universe. Yep, I'm understanding all of this. To the equivalent space-time coordinates of the reactor core as it cycled, the quantum activity in your brain triggered a class H matter exchange event, which pulled you over here into our lovely, lovely world. From that point on, I've been checking on you through the security system. You arrived on the fifth floor, right next to my faked corpse. Why? Why'd you have a fake corpse? You bumbled your way up through all the floors, fighting the weak security robots that they put up there for show, and were fortunately stopped by my uh, friend, Gentle Hand. Gentle Hand. Dumb head out of window and got the entire mountain obliterated for the containment breach. That's bad. That sounds bad. Took the precaution of dropping you down an elevator shaft, and well. Here we are. Here we are. Sound familiar? Nope, Good. didn't play the game. I'm assuming that's the first game. Got didn't play it. For you, that will help with mobility while your legs continue to recover. It's called the BAMM, short for Biometric Arm Mounted Multi Tool. It's a medical device that can detect and help repair injuries, but it also lets you move around quickly using a highly it. localized alkybur field. In layman's terms, you can teleport short distances... I don't like teleporting. Right I'd, I'd rather... Oh, I can just move. Okay, perfect. I assumed I could, based on the settings from before. Um, so, first impressions. It's, 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 I don't want to say simplistic. It's a slightly simplistic um, graphical style. It looks very good, don't get me wrong. I do really like the facial expressions. Um, the limp sync's quite... Okay, I'm going to use the phrase simple, but I have no idea how hard it is. So it's actually probably quite difficult to do, but... The, the the emotion that's conveyed in his face by his his mouth movements and his his eye, uh, eyebrow expressions really really impressed with that. Um, so the other thing that I should say about this game, one of the th reasons that it came to my attention as well, was that it does have full index support at this early stage where it's just a demo. But obviously, if you're planning to release something in 2020, it should have full index support. And this has full index support. So you can see we have the actual index controller. Uh, and that's actually very accurately modeled to where my hand is. That's quite nice. Uh, full index support. So that's there. That's available. It does have the index controls. It uses the trackpad to teleport, which is one of the better uses for the trackpad, I suppose. You know, fun fact, the BAMM's compact nuclear reactor gives off about 1,000 rads a minute, but it's continuously curing the radiation poisoning that you're developing. Now, I've arranged a little what? orientation Hold up. downstairs that my assistant Theris will guide you through. And don't worry, you're not a prisoner. This force field is more for Leo's comfort of mind than anything else. Poor guy. Thinks you're violent. A ruthless robot murderer. Anyhow, you'll have free Did he say that about me? I will murder him. Pretty down there, Theris. Sure am, boss. Great, great. Well, my friend, I'll see you soon. Oh. Kidoki. Where'd that go? Oh, we're actually going down, I see. Zulubo Productions presents. Yeah, so first impressions, really good. Is that Brian? Hey, Brian. Can do, I can do two fingers, of course I can. You're burning something, Brian. Vertigo 2. What a cool landscape we've got here. I'm really excited about this game, you know, and I'm gonna have to wait like a year to play it. What are they? Biolab Alpha. One of them has gone, they've gone, they get huge. That's a problem. Brian? Brian? You probably wanna, no, it's okay. Lots more Brian, friend, hate, chaos. I'm trying to follow that, but there's a lot going on. Brian's good. Plank's bad, is what I got from that. What's going on there? Ooh, hello, mate. Calm down. I'm the violent one, am I? Me. All right, then. Oh, there's, a, there's another dead body there, Brian. I could do with that gun, though. That, look, is that where the power comes from? No, because they said it comes from another universe. So what is that about? There's a lot of interesting things being brought up in this intro. Is that the end of the demo? I mean, it is a year away, so I'm not expecting too much. Oh no, the end of the introductory elevator ride. Greetings. <laughs> I gotta tell you, I got really excited when I heard that you were here. 
Brian's great and all, but he's just so busy with his work, he barely has any time for me. It gets pretty boring. Oh, well, come on, come on. Don't be shy. I wanted to open it. I promise I won't bite. Will it help you if I told you I had guns built into my hands? Oh! Uh, Paris, put those away. Okay, okay, I'm sorry. I'm an idiot. We don't yeah. shoot our guests, do we? No, sir, Brian, but I assure you... It's, uh, well, anyways, I'll try my best. Sorry, that was embarrassing. Well, let's get a move on. Better than your best, if you don't mind. Oh, Brian, when he had hair. Look at Brian with hair. Back in the day, eh, Brian? 1999 was a weird time for Brian. So Brian gave you the whole rundown of where you are, yeah? It's impressive you survived this long, no matter what Brian tells you. Those bots on the upper floor may be stupid as hell, but they're sure of a lot of them. Did you know that their artificial intelligence was written by 16... Bit belligerent in 71, wasn't he? Underqualified it shows. Brian reprogrammed me and Leo with the sapiens to be... What's going on in... Oh, I see. Someone else won. He thinks they're cute. Who's the other person? Real security bots are... I wasn't listening to anything you said. Was I supposed to be listening to anything you said? I'm sorry, I wasn't. I can't open the door. Not very clever robots, are they? This is supposed to be some sort of super future. They're kind of stupid. Mate, they're kind of stupid. I forgot your name. What's your name? Oh, these are some of Brian's long-term experiments. Brian has been studying the alien life forms that are pulled here by the reactor, identifying and categorizing universes and so on. But luckily, we already know a lot about your universe, and we know you're just about genetically identical to the humans here. Otherwise, you'd be one of those freezers. Brian has documented over 700 species. What's the big one? Three alternate universes. He's working on research to determine why there's such a diversity of alternate Earths. And the best theory so far is that about a billion years ago, there is. Oh, here's the shooting rate. Let's take a look at this. No, go back to the. I'm interested to know more about the alternate. World down there in the reactor. And I'm sorry to say that your troubles are far from over. Why have I got to go to the unfriendly world by the reactor? Your primary weapon's right here. This will probably be the most useful tool you'll have, possibly defining your entire journey here. Is there aliens in the water? I don't trust there's just a, a lake there. No, what's that piece of junk doing here? No, that's ridiculous. We wouldn't possibly have <laughs> aliens in a high-tech facility using a crowbar. That would be absurd. And here you go. State of the art. Who would do that, eh? Who would do that? Also known by its slightly cooler street name, the Ionizer. I immediately thought I'd be able to break open the crate. Uh, I don't seem to have any sort of rotation at all. Um. Oh, oh, I see. Well, that's quite clever. I like that. If we just go into the. Oh, we don't have options. We have quick save, quick load of main menu. Okay. So I'm assuming you either have... Um, well, that's, well, that's an inventory, I suppose. Yeah, so you either have... Uh, let's just look inside you. Snap turn or no turn. I would rather have some form of smooth turning. Go ahead. Shoot some targets in the water. Now, I know you said in the water. Switch modes. It's a bit awkward using the trackpad. For the, I don't think the trackpad should be used for any sort of trackpad purpose. Because it is terrible at it. It's like a sniper mode, I see. So let's have a vague attempt at... No, it's not very good at, uh... At range that mode, is it? I can't get back up to single shot now. Oh, there we go. You can use the stick to do it. Clicking in the stick? Ah, clicking in the stick does it. Right, clicking the stick is much easier then. Oh, two shots on each. Can I? No. Why don't we go on a nice 
Nope. Varys, are you there? Please respond. Great, what the hell was that? Bad news. The cordial cycle in the Earth's mantle happens to be reflecting and concentrating subatomic resonances right here in this cavern. Oh dear. Yeah. Why? I'm already getting minor MXEs. I'm gonna head up to the roof and run defense up there. You assemble the force inside, just in case we get any anomalies in here. Roger. Is that an anomaly? It looks very anomalous. Also very musical. Oh, that's, that's, the, that's the good guy, right? Nope, he's shooting them. Oh, I'm a girl. I didn't even realize it was a girl. I can fly. That's right. Okay, okay, this is fine. All right, bud. Your only chance to fight your way through. Shouldn't be too bad, but I hope you got some good practice at the range. I got some practice at the range. Since the sector is on lockdown, we won't be able to communicate any longer while you're inside. Follow the signs of the hangar. Come on now, follow me. So I should say it's quite nice having human hands modelled uh, in the index. I don't. I must have done something with human hands, but most things you do have robotic hands or some sort of weird glove. Is it? Is it? I'm really enjoying this. You should be firing more. Uh, Theus? Theorus? I don't call you Theseus. Yeah, this game is suitably weird and awesome. I do wish there was some sort of smooth turn. That's basically all I all I would like. That's my only only mild issue so far. I suspect you're going to die before I get there. Die! Jesus! Oh, blew his head off. All right. I'm okay with that. Oh, what's that? Ranged? Yes. I'm not a very good shot, apparently. Maybe we should put it on the sniper mode. Yep, that worked out alright. Happy with that. Bottomless pit. I genuinely didn't mean to jump down there. Yep, not bottomless. I'm going to say that about it. What does that say? Crippled, the Void Delegation could no longer rely on raw power to control the ever-increasing number of realms. Extermination of a realmic civilization was no longer as simple as ordering the hypercube, and new strategies were devised. The Delegation became steeped in bureaucracy. What on earth is it? What? What? Does... What? Dig deeper. I tried going pretty deep, and it failed miserably. So... Oh, let's put me back here. There is. Are you there? Well, I'll skip forward to uh, to where we were. Okay, so we've caught up with where we were. So I'll just take that thing out over there, which three little bombs at us before. Uh, this time it turned around and fired blue balls out of its back, which did me a little bit of damage. So that's weird. Um, I will say the game is just starting to jutter. A little bit of jutter coming into play, just a little bit. It is obviously really early in development, and I am running it at 120 frames a second. Um, well, 120 hertz, I should say, which should hopefully translate to 120 frames a second. And there, you may have noticed there's a slight audio glitch there. I had it just now before we had the loading screen where. Uh, 
It is running a little bit bad, isn't it? I'm going to carry this. going to put that in my inventory. No, I don't think I can. Oh, now it's got confused. Uh, so we'll just carry that, I think. Oh. We'll check this room first. It saved the game there, which kind of implies there's something going on in this room. Let's go. Let's just go check downstairs before we go anywhere. So I've taken a little bit more damage. Sacrifice counter 9,793,000. So that's the bottomless pit, which clearly is not very bottomless. Calling shenanigans on that. Yeah, I don't know if you I don't know if you would have noticed the judder, or if that's perhaps of Steam's motion smoothing coming. The motion smoothing should knock it down to 60 frames a second, which might look a little bit weird in the headset to me, but it should seem perfectly fine to you guys as the uh, recording only goes at 60 frames a second anyway. Oh god, I really dismembered him. Oh, and he left a little maggy thing behind. It's a very human looking brain. But no, I'm happy with it being inside a uh, tank like that. I'm going to pretend I hit that thing. I didn't miss. Hello. Oh, there it goes. It's firing those blue balls from its back. Look. Did it make a weird sound? Oh, I thought it was going to be a hand thing, not a two-shot eyeball thing. I'm holding on to it to take a bit more damage on the assumption that uh, that... Oh, fair enough. Full health restored. Perfect. There's another one there that we know of now. I didn't really mean to fire that then, but okay. What's this? It looks like a gun. I'll have to put that away first. Oh, that makes sense. Hello. also have different fire modes. Is it? Where is it? I don't seem to have any ammunition, so I'm going to call shenanigans on that. I'm assuming... Yes, of course I would have blown up if I'd hit it straight away. Uh, so what do we have down here? Stutter seems to be getting a little bad there, so again, apologies for that. There isn't huge amounts I can do in-game. I have considered dropping the headset down to 90 frames or, so, or 90 hertz again. Same as similar to what the Oculus used to run at. Oh, we can't go in there. That's the end of that. Oh, I was waiting for the game to do that at some point. And it still caught me off guard. Damn you, game. Oh, you just, just caught me on the flip side there, didn't you? I don't know how this is supposed to work. It says it continually generates ammo, but it's on zero ammo, so... You know. That's a bit of a lie. Hmm. 
Nah. Well, that's where that guy was before we, uh, when we came through that door. He's very dead. What's that beeping? Oh, that's me. I guess that picked up from Steam. That's cool. Ah, so we need a door code. Uh, six, one, two, five. Nope, well, that's worth a try. Let's uh, head over in this direction then. Let's just bring this shotgun out. There must be some way. It's like it is looking for some form of ammo input. And I thought it was going to be unlimited, which is why I just threw a load of ammo away by just firing it in random places. It's my bad, I suppose. My bad. How are we doing for health? 40? Terrible is how we're doing. Oh, my word. Where did he come from? No way. Through a door, mate. I want to go back to my sniper mode. In your nads, that's what you get. Immediately lost 15% health. Stupid thing. Sector admin or weapons lab? Ah, oh. I'm assuming those circles are all the anomalies that are kicking off. Didn't mean to do that, but okay. Three, eight, nine, four. Oh, that's the dude from the trailer. This this little necklace dude. Can we do anything with these? No. Yeah, this particular area here, so I don't know if it's the lights maybe, but this particular area it really doesn't like. So if you are going to play this and you're on the index and you don't have a massively beefy system, I would recommend either dropping the sands a little bit or dropping your FPS or your hearts. I keep saying FPS, I mean hearts. Because it's definitely struggling a little bit. I've got no idea how much that's coming across on the screen. No, it looks okay on the monitor display, I think. It's hard to tell when you're trying to look through the nose gap and the monitor at this and the VR at the same time. Oh, I forgot what the code was. 3894. I'm going to say 3894. Yeah. But I want to go to the hangar. That's not an option, obviously. How do I go down? Don't know. I can't just... Oh, I can't just point, I point the controller down. I'm trying to do it with my head, but no, it's controller-based. Hello! I don't have a gun, so we're not going to go that way. Obviously, the guns do not walk, uh, work underwater. They don't walk underwater, either. It'd be weird if the gun just sprouted legs. I suppose this is in the direction of the hangar, at the very least. Hello! Now we're okay for the minute. Let's uh, break quarantine, if you don't mind. Oh. Select the photo containing edible items. Ah, oh, I wanted to select the old lady. What is the most pre prevalent atmospheric element? Neon, nitrogen, helium, argon? Helium. Shit. Oh, okay. Is it nitrogen then? Obviously don't know much about the atmosphere. Yeah, 
You perceive most clearly. That one? Humanity confirmed. Now, Brian really wants his internet back, so we should probably get going. It's all about the internet, is it? That's what this is all about. Hey, Here's Brian in a ship. Hey! Let's get going. I need my internet back. Me! I didn't die. I'm just going to jump off the edge. I don't care. I'm a rebel. So I'm thinking we'll probably have the little flyby, and then it'll uh, maybe give us a gun on the way, and then it'll stop then. That'll be my suspicion. That's why I would end the demo. Hey, buddy. I like your purple headphones. Do you have a seat for me, or...? So you can't punch him in the face, we've learned that. Oh, hello. There she is. Brian Industries headquarters. The largest secret organization on the planet. And only one member. I tried hiring some interns once, but I quickly realized... He's got this massive face. ...terrible subordinates. It's all... Oh, Mr. Brian, we need more than two hours of sleep at night. Oh, Mr. Brian, we don't like when you wear a Speedo on casual Friday. Well, that's fair enough, Brian. What are you doing? What are you playing at here? Movements aren't really... ...gelling. Oh, I didn't get to shoot anything. I shouldn't get to shoot something from the back. Well, there's clearly supposed to be a gun. I'm disappointed, Brian. I feel like the engine can't cope with particularly long distances. Hazardous materials, machinery, and radiation beyond this point. Like, do I go this way, Brian? All right, bye. Oh, we've got six shots for that now. I didn't try to shoot him out of the sky, honestly. I might have done. Did I leave a... Is that where I shot the canopy of the uh, helicopter? They look explosive. Now nah, we're fine. Plank Industrial Energy Solutions. Oh, he was the bad guy. He didn't like him in that video we saw during the little elevator intro sequence. No robots allowed, but there are many robots over there. Uh, dumb, no emotions, a hard pointy body, mass produced, made by humans for menial tasks and expendable. Whereas Brian is highly intelligent, soft and sensual body, each unique, made by the universe itself. And he's also sexy, apparently. Hey, hey robot dudes, are you friendly? I just fire a warning shot. Well, they didn't immediately shoot me. So I guess we'll let them go. Even if they are expendable. It kind of implies we should be shooting them, but let's, let's leave that for now, shall we? Now, I like the toilet. I like the overhang. I would actually like the toilet facing the other way. So if you're going to have a toilet here, you may as well have the toilet with a... Calm down. With a view, hadn't you? I mean, why not? Now, so it's going to take us right over to those... I wonder if that goes anywhere then. We won't do it quite yet. Not only in the demo. What's this? <gasps> a new gun. New weapon acquired. Alter shock laser revolver. Oh. 
Not a great shot with it, apparently. Do you press the trackpad to reload the shotgun? Or... Don't know. Okay, well over to this gun. Haven't quite figured out the shooting mechanics yet, but that's fine. Stupid wall. I don't want to start getting closer when there's so many of them still shooting me. I think we're going to have to. And there are another three over there still. Is that an explosive barrel just there? Yep. That could have helped us out a little bit earlier. Oh, he's properly dead. How are we doing health-wise from that? Not great. Not great is the answer. It still sounds like there's one around somewhere as well. Boop. No, can't activate that. Warning. Low health. It's surprisingly awkward to aim a shotgun, apparently. Where did he go? Oh, I thought that I'd take them out in one shot as well. That's a bit disappointing. Whew. Okay. Well, they're a bit tricky. They're a little bit tricky. If we come across a couple more of those, we're going to be in trouble. I do wish that pushed that off the edge. That would have been nice. It's going to turn around, bright eyes, so I can untangle my cable. That looks like a health thing there, though. Health does go up a little bit. Nope. Beautiful. Uh, again, I wasn't listening because I was trying to repair myself, so... Repair myself? I'm not a robot. They're expendable. No. Security alert. User is not registered maintenance personnel. You don't know that. Are they perhaps robots with guns? They sound like they're going to be robots with guns. Hello. There's a lot of them. Got my health kit just in case. But I think we're doing okay. Sounds like there's something to my side. Oh, there is. Shot and a half. Happy with that. Where did you go? I can run around here all day, mate. Oh, 
Oh, come on. Come on. <laughs> this guy. So headshots really count for a lot in this, don't they? I thought there'd be another one along shortly. Oh, I was trying to move with the stick while it was in my neck and it didn't work very well. Uh, the gully wrought fear and wonder as it birthed the realms at a rate never matched by the architects at the height of their power. Apollyon's attempts to staunch the flow were futile and he realized the power to destroy the gully had perished with the architects. What is going on? What is happening? I don't understand it, but I like it. Right, so we're on full health. No, we're not. Oh my god, I almost went straight off the side. I didn't use it, and I've just thrown it on the floor. All I want to do is use it. There we go. It's not in the right mode. Oh my god, how are you supposed to survive this? With no ammo in your other weapons. I really don't know how I'm supposed to survive that. Um, the gully wrought fear and wonder as it birthed realms at a rate never matched by the architects. Oh, did I just, I just read that? Yes. Hmm. And we don't have... Well, we do have some shotgun. Which is basically useless, I've decided. I saw that one coming and I couldn't quite dodge it. What do I do about this? Realms were left to be left unobserved unless strictly required. A hunt for the Holy Hypercube was cancelled as resources were required just to stabilise the highly volatile realms. The members of the delegation toiled without end and the realm walkers frantically searched for the threats. I don't understand, but it's fine. It's okay. Everything's okay. So the shotgun seems to be basically useless. I think against lots of the uh, the eye things, maybe. So I'm going to try just hiding a bit more distance away. I think. We're losing anywhere to hide, but I think we're doing okay. Somehow. Just around the corner. Is he the last one? Nope.
Damn it, if I die to this last guy. Manual identity verification team failed to report. Perfect. Wow, that was pretty tough. Was not expecting the game to be so tough. Maybe it's just me. Who knows? Emergency access granted. There is some more health up here though, which I'm quite happy about. Quite happy about. I'm gonna get that immediately. Jam it in our next. Nice. Let's go. That's a horrible thing to do. That's an employee's right. <laughs> Me. Maybe. They fired at me first. Called in the what? They attacked me first. No, I'm not backing away. I'm just preparing myself for the fight. Hey, buddy. You don't want to do that. No, that's a big gun. It's a waste of a bullet. Oh, well, there we go then. That is the Vertigo 2 demo. Wasn't that something pretty special, actually? Really, really excited to see that that full game come to fruition next year. If you've played Vertigo 1, let me know what it's like. Let me know if it's worth picking up. Let me know if I need to play it, I suppose, or if you think I need to play it to have any idea of what's going on in this. Or if Brian, he might have summed it up quite nicely for us at the beginning of the game there. I don't really know. I want to know more about all of these things. I want to know who that is. Crazy Eye Joe over there. What are these things? What's, what are these guardians? What's going on? It's so weird. Is that a gun? Because those are guns. Is that a gun? I want that gun. That looks cool. Awesome. So, hope you enjoyed that as much as I did. If you did, please do click the like button. That's hugely appreciated. Subscribe to the channel, of course, and questions or comments, leave them down, down below. Even like I said, if you've played Vertigo 1, let me know. If you want to play the Vertigo 2 demo, it is obviously absolutely free. So you can pick that up, pick that up on Steam. I'm sure it supports all the other headsets as well, although I didn't check, I'll be honest, but I'm sure it does. Why wouldn't it, right? Yeah, good stuff. Don't forget I stream on Wednesdays and it'd be lovely to see you there. Otherwise, I'll see you next time in some other magical VR adventure. Hopefully as magical as Vertigo 2 was and surreal and awesome and weird. And as always, thank you very much for joining me.